UFC Fight Night Ankalaya versus Walker 2 takes place this weekend. Welcome to the MMA Casuals Guide. I'm Dino Bam Bam. If you are a casual, no worries. Stick right here. I've got you covered on everything you need to know about this weekend's upcoming card. UFC Fight Night Ankalaya versus Walker 2. <laughs> The main event this weekend sees Magomed Ankalaev versus Johnny Walker. Let's start as we always do with the red corner, Magomed Ankalaev. He is the UFC's number three ranked light heavyweight, behind only former champions Yuri Prohashka and Jamal Hill. I don't know what's going on with Ankalaev, but lately it seems like the man cannot get away from controversy. Two fights ago, he fought for the vacant world title against former champ Jan Blahovic. That fight ended in a draw, and in his last fight against Johnny Walker, he of course threw an illegal knee, which led to the fight getting stopped and a no contest being ruled. Style-wise, Ankalaev has everything you want out of a top contender. Very good kickboxing skills, very good wrestling skills, good cardio, he's got everything. For years now, many fans have said he is the division's dark horse and he is now very close to yet another opportunity at a world title. But in order to do that, he needs to go through the Brazilian giant, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker is an absolute athletic freak. The six foot five Brazilian striker is super unique. He throws some wild looping shots and has deadly one touch KO power. The knocks on Johnny Walker can really be boiled down to two things. He sometimes fights careless, and there's a bit of a narrative that he has a weak chin. When Johnny Walker gets KO'd, he tends to get knocked out in very goofy fashion. Walker, just a few years back, was seen as the UFC's next big thing in the light heavyweight division, and after a few losses, he's gotten back on track and is closer than ever to a UFC title shot. Guys, the winner of this fight sets themselves up beautifully for a potential next matchup against current UFC champion Alex Poatan Pajera. The co-main event sees number 5 versus number 6 in the flyweight division as Brazilian Mateus Nicolau takes on the Angolan-born Portuguese star boy Manel Cop for the second time. Nicolau was on a six fight win streak and one fight away from a title before it all came crumbling down in his last fight against Brandon Roy Vall. Nicolau is a well rounded fighter who has a bit of a reputation for being a decision fighter. He tends to play it pretty safe with five of his seven UFC wins being by decision. Nicolau has not been in the cage since April of last year, so it's going to be interesting to see how he rebounds after being knocked out last time. His opponent this weekend is Starboy, Manel Kopp. Kopp is a former Ryzen champion who is making his way up the UFC rankings. Kopp came into the UFC and dropped his first two fights, the first to current champion Alexandre Pantoja, and the second to his opponent this weekend, Mateus Nicolau. Things were not looking great for his UFC future, but since then, Kopp has turned it around and he is currently on a four-fight UFC win streak. He has a very fun, fan-friendly, flashy fight style, and he's really made a name for himself in the UFC, especially after having a few viral moments at the UFC 293 press conference. Guys, the winner of this fight is one fight away from a UFC title shot. Huge stakes in this co-main event. A couple other people and fights you should know about on this card. We will see the UFC legend, Jim Miller. Miller holds UFC records for most fights, most wins, most sub attempts, the second most finishes ever. He's top five in time spent in the octagon. Miller's an absolute legend who has dedicated his life to this sport. The biggest thing in this fight is making sure Jim Miller stays healthy. Guys, he fought on UFC 100, he fought on UFC 200, and has stated his plans to fight at UFC 300 in April. 
Ricky Simone versus Mario Batista should be a fast-paced grappler versus striker fight. Phil Hawes versus Bruno Fajera, two guys with serious power, do not blink during this fight. The legend and former UFC heavyweight champion, the 44-year-old Andre Arlovsky is on this card. Matt Semmelsberger, a powerful athlete coming off of a loss. I'm interested to see how he rebounds. Marcus McGee versus Gaston Balaños is a very dangerous fight. Undefeated Basharat brother Fareed versus Taylor Lapalus is a fight MMA diehards have been excited to see. And last but not least, a lot of people's favorite flyweight prospect, the 22-year-old Josh Van gets his toughest test to date as he faces LFA champion Felipe Bunez. UFC Fight Night Ankalaya vs. Walker 2 takes place this weekend at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. Guys, I'm Dino Bam Bam with V107 MMA. This was the MMA Casuals Guide. If you guys enjoyed, please do us a favor and hit that like button. If you're interested in seeing more, we do full card breakdowns. My co-host DS does a weekly safety parlay. We've got a ton of content. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us on IG as well at V107MMA for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.